Welcome, welcome everyone. I'm working on the third quarter for 2014. So we're looking at July, August, and September of 2014. And I was just trying to catch your little sun sunset moment for us to open it up. I've been trying to light some candles here, but every single candle, I even thought I could stash a little one back there, but the wind's pretty strong, but that's okay. I wanted to get through this, so um, what I did decide to do is bring out the romance angels, okay? So we're going to work with the romance angels, you know, keep that, that love vibe going, okay? Um, since the summer uh, time, now we're, you know, getting down into the fall, and I'm going to bring my beautiful bag of amulets of the goddess, the amulets of the goddess, the oracle of ancient wisdom, you know, I love her, I've had this book, I don't know, we'll have to remember, I know it's like 90 or something like that, and then I'm bringing out my runes, okay, alrighty, the book of runes by Ralph H. Bloom, fabulous, rebirth, and that's what we're looking forward here, Rebirth, okay, communication, communication, transformation, communication, the moon, Luna, moon cycles, draws us towards union and merging and reunion, and, okay, alrighty, well, let's get this going because my iPhone will cut me off, it already has, so we're going to go, and um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick... Um, four of the uh, romance angels and then one of each of the goddess and then the runes to close but we'll narrow down the four to two and then the last one okay so let's pick them like this okay the first card is honeymoon honeymoon okay enjoy the bliss of holiday time together Okay, and that looks like little Venice trip action. Europa, you know what I'm saying? A little Venice Europa <laughs> with the goddess amulet. Okay, and let's kind of stack them up a little bit like we're... Oh, this one kind of flipped. Oh, okay, got one. Oh, boy, no wonder we're going on a honeymoon because... We're just going through, going to get the plan situated for this wedding, perhaps, huh? The situation involves marriage. But well, nonetheless, it sounds like there's commitment between a pair. The pairing, I'd say honey, wedding, honeymoon is called a pairing, right? So we look like that's a good deal. Okay, let's continue. Let's see, okay, I'm at three minutes, so it's okay. Oh. This one kind of flipped out. So we're going to go with this one. Passion. There you are. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. Okay. Well, we need passion for all this. So we've got a triple pay, right, right? I'd say, um, you know, so far we got those hearts, three, three hearts here. And let's say they're all high cards. High. Okay, and the last one we'll pick is... Keep an open mind. Okay, your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. Okay, well, see, you know, sometimes maybe you are trying to hunt for that musician, but maybe you end up with some kind of writer or something, you know, but keep an open mind, okay? But we've got that angel there looking above, so it can't be all bad, okay? Just keep an open mind. All right. And then let's um, put these away. The winds are picking up, so I want to be cautious. I don't want my cards floating around. And, um, okay, we stacked them up there. And let's just, okay, we're just going to take two out. And this will be one of them. There's that honeymoon. Okay, there will be some sort of getaway, getaway. And then the last one, let's make it a pairing. We'll call this the pairing for the romance. Passion. 
Well, I believe, my friends, that that's a nice combo, okay? Shows a passionate commitment to spending time alone with you and your honey bunny. Okay, very good. All righty, let's pick a goddess um, amulet now. And we'll do the short read, and we've got some nice smokes. Oh, let's see how we're doing here for this. Oh, my goodness. Okay, it went down. I was trying to capture that, but I was chatting. Okay, well, there we go. We're watching it. Nice, nice. I always love to see the people walking. That's so sweet. Okay, all righty. Well, let's finish what we're doing here. Okay, we've got one here. Oh, my gosh. Well, this is the original goddess. She's 30,000 years old. I picked her out a few months ago in another time when I was doing the amulet thing. Wow. Excellent. This is the Wildenorf goddess. Okay, well, I don't want to keep mesmerizing over her because she's fabulous. She's all about this. That's what she's all about passion and honeymooning and being the goddess that you are with the, you know, god or goddess or whoever you love. So let us turn to the Wildenorf goddess, Wildenorf. And here she is. She's Miss, um, let's see, hold on. Okay. Let's see. I know she's here. Hold on a second, people. There she is. Can you see her? No. Sorry about that. Oh, there we go. The Wildenorf. The Wildenorf goddess. Okay? Page 100. All right. And we'll get to it. Okay, and there she is. Okay, and we're going to scan because I have already done a whole video on this. Okay? So... We're just going to jump in, okay? She was found in 1908 in Austria, okay? You can look her up. The wilderness goddess, but we're just going to keep going here. Okay, you have called... You have called the great mother of belonging to you for comfort, to remind you that your presence counts. You are connected to all existence by virtue of being alive, by being yourself. The feeling of belonging is an enormously powerful spiritual existence. It is also a socially, politically, and personally expansive way of being in the world. If you are feeling disconnected or alienated, you are in a state of forgetting. This goddess guide is always a call to return to Earth. And that's what we've been talking about. 2014 is all about everything's outside. Everything's outside. Everything's outside. <laughs> okay? No disrespect, but everything's going to be outside. Find that passion. Get outdoors, okay? Passion for outdoors. Mother Earth. Get your two feet back on the ground. Return your own source, your own resources. Get your eyes off the other, other people, other places, other things. Bring your attention to focus on your own bounty, concentrating on where you belong rather than on where you don't. Avoid distancing and be valuable and excuse me, avoid distancing and devaluing habits such as comparing yourself with others, which always lead to feelings of isolation and loneliness. Take a few moments for deep breathing or meditation. And my friends, how many times have we talked about deep breathing? My Lord help us. Say, I love you while looking into a mirror. Make a phone call to a friend and say, I love you. Give thanks. Well, there you go, people. You know, when you're looking in the mirror in the morning, brushing your teeth, or whatever you're doing, you know, combing your hair, you know, you say, thank you, Jesus, I love you. And that's what you say. Very powerful. And, and or thank you, Jesus, I love my son. Or thank you, Jesus, I love my cat. Or thank you, Jesus, I love you. Thank you, Jesus, for loving me. And I love me, for, I, for you love me, and I love you. Okay, there's a song about that one. But anyway... Give thanks. I love you. Focus energy can be powerful, moving, and generating force from a place of belonging wholly to yourself in love and acceptance will grow. And the affirmation is, I belong. 
a child of the earth, I am guided and guarded by the goddess. She holds me. She holds me. She holds me. And she will never let me go. And there we go, my friends. We've always been saying, you know, she never left us. She, she, but she's returning in the big way. Okay, we're on time. We're on 10 minutes. Okay, let's pick a rune. But here we have, we wanted the goddess to come through. And the oldest one found, the oldest one. She's over 30 years, excuse me, 30,000 years old. Please look her up. And here we have the rune of protection. Get down on it, people. The only reason why, because I've been picking this rune a lot. And this is a wonderful rune. It is exactly what it means. It is about protection. Beautiful, beautiful. Let's put that there with the passion and the journey that we're going on. We want to make the rest of our journeys, whether romantic or for our own creativity, make it like it's going to be your honeymoon, like the best plan you've ever made for something, okay? And here we go. Protection is this rune. Let's see. There we go. Protection. Right. Here we go. The rune for... Where we go? Okay, here we go. Protection. Okay. I can't see. I don't know if you guys can see, but anyway. It's page 111. Okay, very good. And we'll close it down with this. So we know we're being guarded again. Protection. Sedge rushes. The elk. Okay. Al algaes. Algaes. Okay. And let's give love to Mother Earth again for providing us this opportunity to come outdoors in nature and giving us a reading through the love of life and Holy Spirit, Mother. Father. And like I said, I wish I could have some flame going on, but it's okay. We're burning a little beautiful stick here. But to continue, it says protection, and we have control of the emotions is an issue here. During times of transition, shifts in life course and accelerated self-change, it is important not to collapse yourself into your emotions, the highs as well as the lows. New opportunities and challenges are typical of this rune, and with them may come trespasses and unwanted influences. Algiz serves as a mirror for the spiritual warrior, the one whose battle is always with the self. The warrior's protection is like the curved horns of the elk or the warning rustle of the sedge grass, for both serve to keep open space around you. Remain mindful that timely rat timely right action and correct conduct are your only true protection. If you find yourself feeling pain, observe the pain. Stay with it. Do not try to pull down the veil and escape from your life by denying what is happening. You will progress knowing that is your protection. Wonderful protection. Solar sun here. Beautiful. <coughs> Remember, make your journey like you would plan a honeymoon, your life journey, and get passion. And it's all about this transformation we're going through to heal ourselves. Energy healing, we can all do it. We can do it with our hands, with our thoughts. We can be very, very positive. So we're going to be ending up the summer rejuvenated because that's what we need right now to rejuvenate and generate and, and have an attitude adjustment towards grat gratitude and fabulous things are coming. All right, 2014, third quarter, hmm, July, August, September, I think good, good energies. Thank you for watching. Love you all. Take it easy. Okay, talk to you later. Ciao.